What is up everybody, Nick Legostava here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing and comparing Transformers Studio Series 86 Autobot Wheelie, Transformers the Movie, Transformers Studio Series 86. So here we go, let's get this unboxed, and <laughs> funny enough, they already did a wheelie in the Studio Series 86, which I will be doing a little comparison to. He came with Leader Class Grimlock, and then they're also doing a Core Class... <clears throat> Daniel in the mech suit or whatever that's also going to be a core class but nicely enough this was eight dollars instead of ten dollars at Target so that's nice I also see the plastic ties in here instead of the other ones I'll still cut those I thought I had the clippers in here but I don't so I have to do it the old-fashioned way with the blade instead of the clippers and look at even this little one has the little background in there you can put them on if you want to do so and also when you're picking this out in the store I definitely eyed up a few I'll get into this when I look more closely at some of the details but you'll notice that some of the Autobot symbols are not perfectly like straight and there's also some like paint chips in it so definitely keep a lookout I think this was the best one in the store when I picked it up don't forget his little slingshot. I know that in these unboxings, I do sometimes forget the accessories, like most of the deluxes. They just strap them underneath, and you're just supposed to magically know, even though you can't even visibly see them really anywhere. So that's a thing sometimes. But here's little core class wheelie. I don't have the Legends class from Transformers Generations, or was that uh, Power of the Primes, whichever one that one was in, that wheelie. That was the go to wheelie for a while, but. That the prices for that were insane, so I'm glad I never picked that up. So, got a better one right here. So, there's the little instructions and stuff that I never look at. So, here we go. There's Wheelie, and here is the Wheelie that came out before this one. So, this one's permanently like sitting. That's why I got a little 3D printed toilet. And on the shelf, I just put a little sticky tack on his foot so he would stay like that on the shelf. You can definitely see the color differences here. This one was all like painted detail. This one is actually colored plastic rather than painted detail. They both even have their little slingshot here. And then we'll compare some of the articulation here. This, you can't even move the knees or legs too much. I mean, you can move the legs here, but you can't really move the legs down there. I bet you could probably pop these off and pop those on there if that's the same size ball joint. There's also 3D printed legs I could have made, but I had heard this was coming, so I didn't even bother with any of that with this pretty early on. But yeah, did this even have waist rotation? Kind of looks like it. Yeah, even this little guy had waist rotation. So it's kind of strange that they did that. So for you, if this is a, like a really minor character for you, and I mean, he is a minor character, but it's eight bucks. So I figured I might as well get him. One that can actually transform. This one does actually transform. This one does not. Let's see, what other articulation does this guy have besides the knee bend over him? I don't think this one has waist rotation, oddly enough. So you get a bigger figure that's supposed to have more articulation. Well, not even really necessarily bigger, because these, like, if he could stand straight up, these would probably be the same size, honestly. But figure that can actually transform, but he doesn't have waist rotation. So there's that. Let's see, what else does he have here that he doesn't? Oh, yeah, you also can't move his arms, so he does have... A ball joint at the elbow there as well as well as at the shoulder but he had it at the shoulder but his arms are in fixed positions so there's that his head also can like kind of move back and cock back and it's on a ball joint I do think this head's also on a ball joint here on the little one you got with Grimlock and I'll also be comparing him with Grimlock and seeing if he could also sit on his shoulder once we get into size comparisons but yeah there's just a, a front and back of them so a character that you already got if you got Grimlock Oh wait, the back of this one is scraped up. I couldn't see that. So maybe the other ones might be better off not scraped up on the front, but this is scraped up over that blue paint. It looks like this piece was double painted. So it's originally a gray plastic piece, as you can see right there. Then they painted it orange, and then they painted it blue. <laughs> so you got double painting on that. So that was a little strange. But this one does transform and that one doesn't. But we'll get into vehicle mode here in a second. I'm going to do some size comparisons with both of these. Let's sit his toilet there so he can stand up properly as I knock his toilet over. Come on, wheelie. Come on. Here we go with Bumblebee, Deluxe class, even though that used to pretty much be Legends class size. And then we have Leader class Grimlock. I meant to grab Voyager... Uh, <clears throat> 
Rodimus, but or not Rodimus, Hot Rod. I meant to grab him, but I didn't. But you can kind of see what the scale is looking like there with him. You can also still bend his knees and have him up there. His body does like to really unlatch there. It seemed really easy, so I might put some floor polish in one of the joints there or something. So he can kind of get on his shoulder in some cool ways. I'll move the camera here in a second. I'm trying to get this where he's not going to just fly off here. Come on. Come on. Sit down, bruh. Sit down. There you go. So you can get him sitting up there. Probably also in dyno mode, it's probably easier to get him around the neck. So there you go. There is the comparison there. So it's definitely kind of strange to see them so soon doing this, but they're also doing the Studio Series 86 Ironhide, and they just did the Earthrise Ironhide that people probably paid hundreds of dollars for. So I guess I'm kind of glad that I waited out on that. Hopefully they'll have a lot of those Ironhides and then eventually Ratchet in store for people to actually get. And then I'd love to see a Studio Series 86 Coneheads re-release, but they could still use the other mold. I'd be fine if they didn't make another mold for those other ones, just as long as most people that want them can actually get the characters instead of them being weird exclusives. Well, let's get into the transformation. We went over a lot of size comparisons and other stuff. Let's see what this has over the other one, which is a vehicle mode that's pretty accurate to the animation. So let's get him transformed up. Now, I, this I can already tell. I mean, it's already better than that other figure that I never got my hands on. And I'm definitely glad I stopped myself from ever paying those crazy prices for that figure. Looks like that's going to do something else elaborate. I think these are actually the back tires, maybe? Yeah, probably. And then these are probably the front. These legs probably clip together. Do something. I always like to just transform my figures on the fly. And see how it would be if you just didn't look at instructions or anything to transform them. Shouldn't be too hard though. Looks like he, these just flip up here and click up here in certain ways. And the leg is wanting to fight me at the ball joints. See, like this is all going back to pretty much ball joints. They had those kind of faux universal joints that they were doing for a while, but it looks like they're pretty much going back to ball joints. Mainly on the figures. You know, back when deluxes were like, you know, like 15 bucks rather than 26. And I know this isn't a deluxe, but I'm just talking in general. Even the deluxes seem to be getting more ball joints again. So there he is in vehicle mode. I could probably pin some of those together a little better. But these wheels are pinned on. These are those crappy peg wheels that barely even roll at all. So you might get him to half roll, but then his back wheels will pretty much be dragging along. So there's Wheelie in vehicle mode. Do I have a vehicle mode comparison? I mean, I guess I just have Galvatron as alt mode, not really a, a vehicle mode, but... If you have him, there's what he looks like next to Galvatron. So, not too bad. You know, I'm not really going to complain too much. I mean, instead of $10, got this for 8 So I don't know if that's how it's priced at all stores for the, the core class figures, but it does seem like those are now $8 instead of 10 at least for the time being. So I guess they can help a little bit out. I mean, <laughs> considering the prices of everything else went up. So there you go. There is Transformers Studio Series 86 Wheelie. That's my review and comparison of that. So if you enjoyed, watch other videos. Decide if you want to subscribe. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much. Please be sure to drop a like, drop comments. I read them all. And what I meant about the front here was making sure that Autobot symbol is actually centered right there. Because I was looking at some of them, it was kind of off to the side and like messed up a little bit. So keep an eye on that. Peace. Bye-bye.